everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Jessica and I am a reseller on Poshmark eBay and Mercari and today's video we have another Goodwill bins thrift haul so if you don't know what the Goodwill bins is essentially it's a place where you go and you kind of sort through a lot of pre-owned clothing uh, some of it is taken from Goodwill stores some of its direct donations but essentially it is kind of the last stop for items before they are either shipped overseas or sent to a landfill so you pay by the pound I think my is about a dollar fifty per pound um so super low cost of goods it's the primary way that i shop for my online stores so yeah i think i have about 60 items in total although i'm probably going to split this video up into two separate videos uh, just to kind of keep the length down a little bit but let's go ahead and get started we've got a great mix of kind of like bread and butter pieces and some higher end things and so everything here this stuff is directly from the bins i have not washed anything or steamed anything so some of them will have like goodwill tags on them um, nothing is listed yes so <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and get started uh, the first thing is this j crew cardigan i have sold um this specific style before i believe it's called the vanessa cardigan but a really nice kind of heavyweight open front cardigan this one is in a really pretty orange Next, one of my favorite brands to sell, um, that is 511 Tactical. Um, I think in a couple, maybe like, I don't know, like four thrift hauls ago, I found six pairs of women's 511 Tacticals. They all sold really quickly. Um, a lot of them got bundled up, but I found another pair of these tactical pants. These are men's, they're a size 38, 32. The tag's a bit faded, but these ones are navy blue, tactical pants. A lot of like uh, paramedics, firefighters, um, security people, they all wear these type of pants, just like cargo pants. This next one, this one actually is a brand that I'm starting to become a little bit pickier with, and that is Lulu's. This is a Lulu's wrap dress. It has a really nice kind of like uh, ruffle going down the side and this is a size extra large I think that if this was like a small or a medium I probably would have left it behind but being a wrap dress and an extra large I did decide to go ahead and grab it the pretty blue kind of stripes on there and it's got like a little ruffle accent at the bottom this next one, this one was fun. So this is a brand, I've sold this brand once before, but it's not, it's more of like a style pickup than a more like a brand pickup. Uh, the brand is just called John Mark. I'll show you it. It's nothing like super substantial John Mark, but this is a really pretty kind of um, sleeveless cardigan. It is a green floral velvet. Um, it does kind of have this like sheer, like chiffon lining, um, but really pretty like a long line cardigan or like a sleeveless cardigan vest type thing lovely this next one very very bread and butter but it is loft i don't love selling loft pieces but i also don't hate it really depending on the style but this was a excellent condition almost looks like new without tags this um jumpsuit pink floral jumpsuit it does have an attached waist tie on here um, and some really cute little like ruffly sleeve accents next one another couple like bread and butter pieces this is j jill size large tall this mustard yellow um, i think it's just a tunic it looks almost like a little tunic dress but I'm fairly positive it's just a tunic and it has a little like patch pocket on the front. Very sort of like basic piece, but um, I do think it will sell well. Another J. Crew cardigan. I think this one is a slightly different style, um, but J. Crew size medium. Another kind of open front cardigan. And I think. You know, the last J. Crew cardigan that I sold, I think it sold for like 40 or 43 $44. So some of these are really good pickups, very um, like 
basic so one of the keywords that i really like putting in these sort of like basics pieces is capsule wardrobe um especially if it's like in a neutral color and a very like versatile piece um, people will be searching for like capsule wardrobe pieces this one was really really fun um when i saw this in the bin i almost thought it was uh for love and lemons but it was not <laughs> but still super cute the brand is called english factory um, I have sold a dress from this brand before. They have very sort of like boho, like cottagecore type style. Um, and this one is so, so cute. It's this little like, um, like peasant baby doll type dress. It's got like a little smocked bodice here. And this is a size 2X. It's a great size. How cute it is. If this was my size, I would absolutely be keeping this. So cute. I love that one. Next one, another bread and butter piece, and that is a Chico's size two gold and black cardigan. It is actually, it's probably more of like a duster. It's a really long cardigan. It has like fringe at the bottom, but gold and black, very cute, very sort of basic open front cardigan. Another very sort of, um, bread and butter like everyday type piece for me is free people this is a size extra small although it's pretty oversized this pink and orange um kind of like a nubby knit it's definitely a strange knit to it sweater super cute cropped sweater this one this one i think this is a brand that i've never heard of i don't think the brand itself is super significant it's called london jean i'll just show you it London jean, um, but the reason I got it, it's 100% linen, and they're just these kind of like everyday, very wrinkly, need to be steamed, <laughs> sort of uh, straight leg linen pants. These always sell really well for me. I mean, I had one from Old Navy that sold yesterday, I think for $20, $25, something like that, um, but great seller, especially as we move into the spring. These are going to sell super, super well. Another fun free people piece. This is a kind of like funky. I don't really know how to hold this. It's like a blue embroidered blouse. It's got these really fun like sleeves with these ginormous ruffles on it. Lots of embroidery, very boho, very like classic free people. Um, so this one will sell super well. I'll probably list this one probably around. I'll check comps, um, but generally I would probably maybe expect I'll probably list it for maybe 35 to 38 but realistically maybe like 28 to 30 you probably could get for it another this is another J Jill piece this is a really fun one it's a blue sort of like lightweight almost like sheer it's actually pretty sheer it's not really showing up on the camera but a lightweight cardigan this is also really perfect for like the transitional weather as we're moving into spring I mean, as it's January now, so we're not really moving into spring. But in the coming months, this one is also a 58% linen blend. So lovely. And this one, so this one is one, uh, the Goodwill one in $9.99 for this. Obviously, it didn't sell for that much. So they pulled it from the floor and they sent it to the bins where I bought it for like maybe a dollar, maybe a dollar fifty. So great find. I love stuff like that. This one... This is an anthropology piece. I think it is a little bit of an older piece. It is a size extra small, but another pair of linen blend pants. They're green striped, a slight taper to them. Just a really kind of classic um, anthropology piece. This one is a loft sweater. I don't always pick up loft sweaters, um, but this one has a really cute like dog with a scarf on it and it's such an ex it's in such excellent condition as well um i really wanted to grab this one but like look how cute that is i love that so pretty but loft sweater next up another very bread and butter piece um i'm not against picking up old navy uh, but this one was new with tags so i decided to go ahead and pick it up and it is a really nice green crocheted maxi dress and it goes all the way down green crochet and this one is new with tags i don't think 
It retailed for $50, $49.99. So I'll probably list this one around 30-ish, maybe 28 to 32 um, and go from there. But super cute, especially being new with tags. Um, I'm not gonna like turn it down from the bins. <laughs> Uh, these next two pieces, these were probably some of the best finds. Uh, barring, I need to do a little bit, I'll probably look up more comps for this, but I found them right next to each other and it is a pair of seven for all mankind faux leather pants, new with tags. Uh, so this is a size large, these little faux leather uh, shorts, sorry, from seven for all mankind. And then the matching new tags faux leather jacket from seven for all mankind so these are super super exciting so these were originally sold at tj maxx so something that you have to be careful of when you see like some of these like more expensive brands at places like ross and tj maxx it's very likely that there were quite a few of them that made their way to these like, kind of like discount stores. So you really have to check your comps, um, especially if you're gonna be paying up for items like these. You don't wanna like pay 20, $25 for these and then you get home and you find out there's like a thousand of them listed because Seven Man For All Mankind tried to like liquidate a lot of their inventory and sold a bunch of them out to these places like the, um, the discount shops, right? So it's something to be careful of, but especially at the bins, um, I'm not worried that much about that, but <laughs> I wouldn't have paid, like, I probably would have double checked or triple checked some comps if I were to go to TJ Maxx and find it for $50, right? But I think these ones definitely retailed for over $100, um, but I did look very briefly and I did see a few of them were listed, like, uh, jacket and pants listed individually. I saw a few of them listed as sets, so I'll do some more research to see if I want to list them as a set, but... Who knows? But uh, yeah, seven for one kind faux leather jacket. It is, I think, a bit of a cropped jacket as well. Um, has some buttons on it. Yeah, great find, especially from the bins. Super, super excited to find that. This one, this one, very basic piece. I don't think I'll get too much for this. Made well, size extra large. Um, I am pretty picky with my made well. I'm trying not to pick up things like like really basic pieces or like extra smalls and smalls, but this one was cute, especially being an extra large. Um, it looks in excellent condition, kind of like a gauzy, I mean, it's like a gauzy cotton fabric, like a blush pink. Um, I had like a sweater top, I'm not really sure what I would call that one. Super cute, this definitely needs a steam. This next one, in full disclosure, I'm not sure if I've actually shown this in a haul before. It was on my mannequin earlier, and I like took me like a hot second to question if I had shown this in my last haul, but I don't think I did. So I'm gonna show it again. <laughs> it's a, a soft surroundings. Uh, it just says one size. It is this blue and gray shawl. I feel like I did because I feel like I was talking about this in the last haul i can't remember i do remember when i picked this up though it was sitting like perfectly neat neatly folded like really small in like the corner so i was like oh that looks like a fun fabric and it's soft surroundings definitely one of my favorite brands but it's kind of hard to show but it's like this like open shawl looking thing that you just like drape over your shoulders but super cute lovely also perfect for transitional weather uh, this one, definitely a style pickup. The brand is called Newberry, Newberry Custom. I don't really know. Nothing special, but super cute. Wow, the camera just got really dark. It's all trying to like adjust for the light. But uh, this kind of creamy beige and orange star sweater, really kind of fun knit to it as well. Super cute. Um, another, this one, the brand can do well, but I really like the style. It's called Billabong, size medium. This really cute kind of green and blue um, cardigan sweater. Got a lot of cardigans in this one, but super lovely, sort of like geometric. Some people call this like an Aztec type print, but it does have, it looks like it has a little bit of a waterfall front as well, which is definitely a key word. Let me see, how do I? Let me hold this up properly. There we go. Okay, little cardigan. Super cute. Also perfect for the transitional weather. What else we got? Oh, we got a pair of figs. Figs, also one of my favorite brands. I have, 
I think every pair of figs that I find, it always sells like within the week. Like it sells so quickly. Um, I'm sure this one will be no exception. This is a figs size small lack and sorry i should probably clarify figs is a scrub brand so they do scrub pants shirts jackets like all sorts of stuff um but these are the an actual like a, a regular pair of figs a lot of times i find it's called the zamora jogger so they're like a pair of um joggers in scrub pant form i guess uh but this is just a regular pair but i have sold the regular pair before um but yeah figs great find i know the tall sizes do really well i've got found a few pieces in like talls and they sell so quickly it's another free people piece i love free people some of it can be very saturated but i think that this is a fun little piece very distressed um it's got these little like um what are they called i can't remember what they're called now like eyelet it's like almost like eyelets but they're not not quite eyelets but there we go little like very holy a holy knit green green boy i can't even speak gray a uh, very distressed kind of classic distressed like free people top sweater knit thing yeah you know the normal free people it's cropped it's got holes in it it's classic free people <laughs> uh, okay this next one this was actually a very exciting find let me like zip it back up let's see see i haven't photographed any of this so I have to go through and like steam things and clean things and make sure everything looks presentable. Uh, dress the population size is small. This blue uh, lace uh, dress, there we go, um, with these kind of sheer lace sleeves. Um, this one actually has a Plato's Closet tag on it. Plato's Closet wanted $36 for, for this. So I'm sure I could sell it online on Poshmark for more than that, but very cute dress the population dress super cute all right another this is actually one of my favorite kids brands matilda jane i don't always pick up kids brands but matilda jane's a really cute one um just this like little dress and it's got ties on here you see it is a size four super cute little cotton dress lovely matilda jane piece and that one looks like brand new a lot of times with like kids clothing you'll get like stains and all sorts of stuff on it uh, but that one looks in excellent condition this is athleta size 1x this is a kind of a romper a floral romper it has a waist tie it's got big front pockets and it does have like little shorts there if you can see uh, yeah, great size. I think if this was like an extra small or a small, I probably would have left this behind. But being a one, what did I say, 1X? Yeah, being a 1X um, in great condition as well. I went ahead and grabbed it. Uh, originally, uh, so originally this was um, at a Goodwill store and they wanted $15 for this. But I found it at the bins. Obviously nobody wanted to buy it for $15, so I will buy it at the bins and put it online. <laughs> Uh, next one, so this one, I kind of regret, I'm not going to lie, I kind of regret picking this one up. Um, so it is free people size two, so that's already a pretty small size, but it is cute. It's not bad, but I'll tell you why I regret it. So it is this corduroy, um, kind of like an orange button front corduroy dress. I really wish this was a larger size, but then I got home and I looked at some stock photos and I realized uh, the belt is not with it. That happens actually quite a lot. Like you, you get something and then like I'll be at the side looking through the cart and then I realize I'm like, oh wait, this is supposed to have a belt with it. And then I'd go back and that bin has already been like wheeled to the back so I can't even go look for it. But it's okay. It's not bad. I'm sure it will still sell. Um, it's not like it's a terrible piece, but I really wish the belt was there. But yes, a corduroy. I feel like a cross. I guess you could adjust the, the buttons to be either a cross back or um like straight straps or however but corduroy dress very cute i'm sure i could get i would hope i could get 28 dollars for this being a small size and missing the belt maybe not maybe a little less than that okay so this is a brand that i have sold a few times it's called eloquy i'm fairly certain that they only create plus sizes it's possible that they create regular sizes but i'm fairly certain it's just plus size uh but it is this really pretty 
um, kind of like a royal blue velvet pants and they have a pretty slight flare to them not so anything super dramatic but a slight flare and elastic waist i have noticed um just kind of in my poshmark closet and just seeing some of the trends people posting about um that velvet does seem to be a really good seller right now so i got this piece i have that other john mark piece so i'm gonna start listing uh the velvet pieces that i have and see how it goes <laughs> Uh, this next one, this is a very bread and butter piece. So this is Floriette. Uh, Floriette is an anthropology brand. I'll show you that tag. Floriette. It always has like, it's always like slightly cut off as well. But this is just a really pretty sort of like black and black and white embroidered uh, circle scarf. Nothing too special. I'll probably only list this one for maybe 25, but super cute, very bread and butter. And this next piece, this one was actually a pretty exciting find. This was somebody's throwback. So I found it kind of at the side of the bin, like somebody had grabbed it and decided to throw it back. Um, this is Papel Boutique Evening. So it's a um, like an offshoot of Adriana Papel. Uh, it is a 100% silk uh, evening dress in a size 10. And I will show you, it is new with tags. New with tags and new with like little extra beads. Super pretty kind of beaded dress. I did kind of look this over before I grabbed it. I didn't see any like anything substantially wrong with it. Um, there was maybe like a tiny little pluck in the front, but nothing for me to say like, why was this donated? Why was this thrown back? I'm not really sure, but super pretty. I don't think that there was a price on here, but I wouldn't be surprised if this retailed for maybe at least $200. That's what I would think. Maybe slightly less, but I don't know. If I can find the original price, I'll throw it up on the screen. Alrighty. Okay, so that is everything. I'm going to stop the video here um, and probably film the next part and for a separate video, uh, but I really hope that you guys like this video. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel um, so you can get alerts when I post new videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!